That's my sound test now? Okay, sure. I did that. Hey there, everyone. The Zao Goblin Maggle X3. We're at 3% completion. Basically, done with the game. Uh, hey there, everyone. Like, oh, yeah, we're, there's like, what? Four levels left here and one Mephab? I got already some early feedback from the Mephab experience. I want to test something. So apparently you can use this to teleport. Yo, and it's so seamless. I don't know why I had this weird build-up. All right. Yeah, Tanuki, no data. <laughs> gimmick warning. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I didn't see the Tanuki to gimmick underneath there last time. I guess, I guess I just got sidetracked, distracted. I don't know. Did I speak to me? Well, yeah, because I played the military zone here. See, it's okay. So... See how there it says duck the cycle between characters? Yesterday I just saw the writing down there and assumed that it was to say cycle to press between characters. Uh, sky blue... Okay, sky blue cycloud, nostalgic venomous rainforest. Now that's where you want to hang out. Man, we got like a whole 30 something here by 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 that too. Like we're, we're getting it to like maybe good, I don't know. Is the Luigi zone. There's a ninja. The venomous cat like star like animal. Well oh, there's a star. Oh, there's a venom. Got it. And you gotta You gotta make a bounce! Yeah! Big bounce! Die bounce! One bounce! You did it, Luigi! You defeated both screens! Say that the thing was two clocks? That stands for two screens. There you go. And two mushrooms. Welcome to the world of twos. Yeah, rainforest, venomous, ninja with bonus buzzer beetle. I don't think you could possibly get more on the nose than this. And yet, only got 11 and a third out of 20 for Red Star. Uh, it's not out of fun only. Hey, you know what? Uh, I mean... It was nice, it was basically two multi-jumps. It's not really a level, but you know, it's not offensive. You just kind of go bop, bop, bop. Uh, all right, hey, you know what? <sighs> Excuses are fun. Uh, no, man. <laughs> Honestly, I hadn't thought about the Luigi. Make sure you're not the princess, I guess. <laughs> It's it's two screens where you basically do one hop, one which is multi hop. Yeah, that's more than one screen. Now that's a plus. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, we got an immediate diagonal ten. Oh, it's Fariel, a place further than Mario Galaxy. Whoa, Sturg, big fan here with the forty points. All right, after after the after the double double, here's the double singles. I know Farrell was trying to rank low. There's a whole bunch of doubt bubbles. There was a little kitty. The kitty heard that a magical star had fallen on the North Pole and fearlessly, exclamado, decided to set off and search for it. Of course, it wasn't perfectly fearless. Little kitty was haunted by some puny doubts. <laughs> oh no! They're booze! Oh, that's funny. Okay. Yeah, watch out, little kitty. All right, now you're gonna be a bigger kitty. Uh, yeah, grow big and strong, chunky kitty, and your pants grew too. Oh, look at that! When you when you run, your mouth opens up. Oh, I did it! Here's the ninja. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Man, sprite work takes a lot of time, but look at the awesome freeze frame we got there. Like, that's some pretty good sprite work, honestly. Like, especially given the size of what you gotta work with, there's a lot of little details on this. Someone worked in at a zoomed in kind of camera zone. Potential playable character might finish people want to use them at any real level. Uh. Well, th there we go. But watch a place further than the universe. Oh, is it like. A show? Go away, doubts! You're now money and lives! Except for those doubts over there. Now I got 10 stars, right? That means I've unlocked doors on the main hub, right? Well, it's not something we'll do today. 
but something we can do in a few- No, look, see, no, the mushroom has like a little dot after it, but not the clock. Is that meaningful? North Pole, fearless and puny. NPC puny? I don't know what that NPC is, but we got a bonus boo. Because uh, otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, otherwise, you're not gonna work, uh... <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, I feel like Fariel is extremely aware. Also, well, I've been speaking on- You gave 40, though, let's see here. Well, I mean, like, you look at the breakdown, a lot of it is... Star, is the gimmick, uh, Flat ground level. It's Scrap Island and you run underneath the doubt zone. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a cartoon cat. Yeah, you're right. It should have been a shirt and no pants to be. Ooh, we got an awards man down there. Where are we, anyways, in terms of completion? I'm just kind of curious. So there's two more levels and a boss left. We barely got anything done. Czar sign one, Gloom Lagoon! 49 from Sturg! Like, we got, like, some little extremities here. Okay, this might be today's end, though. Like, three mushrooms? Like, I just don't know. There's the gloom. Look, look at that sweet, rough corner zone there, though. That's quality. And we have fish, fish, and more fish. Fantastic! I'm a big fan of fish zones. Uh, Alright, uh, there's so many fish. We introduced some fireball spewing panzer. Uh, alright, well, a few right here at least. Free to join them if you want. Alright, well, they're gonna hurt me though. And they're kind of covering the whole screen there. Like, that is a lot of fire. Okay, and they're still firing? Uh, well, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna hope that I don't get harmed by everything that fish just jumped and not got hurt a lot emotionally. Okay, this is like not nothing. What's going on? Oh, jeez. Uh, what? What are it? Is the fireball, I guess, touched me? I didn't look like it touched me, but here we are back here. Video games. Video games. Whoa. Oh, these fire don't hurt me. Well, that changes a lot. Does all the fire not hurt me? This fire hurts me. Alright, so I don't know what's a distinction. Maybe just the first pantsers don't hear hear but future one do? I don't know. Yeah, see there I clearly got some pain zone on my bread and butter, so Alright, well here we oh shoot, I forgot the rules for like power-ups, where they will go when they will travel. Alright, maybe here you wanna swim at like, that panzer is clearly aiming for the Mario, not for the fishies. Uh, Alright, I guess I'm underwater now. God, uh, But the fish will hurt me, it will tickle my toes, and I will go in cardiac arrest. Uh, uh, Alright, so I think it always goes like the opposite way you're facing. This is the lodge! Uh, it, it was a bread to get here. Look at that sweet bed! Oh no, I woke up in nightmare school. Uh, Introduced a few too many pantsers, uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, you seem to be taking this pretty lightly here, friend. Uh, Alright, here we go! Oh, yeah, please fry forever, everyone. Well, those pantsers are kind of self-destructive, aren't they? Oh, man, I haven't paid enough attention. Is it the same, like, land formation? Well, that fish so crazy, it's flying now! Whoa! The sights that I am seeing. No, I think this does represent what I've been through. Alright, this is just welcome to Mario Galaxy in a weird way. Uh, I got hurt by a f uh, yeah, I'm yeah, rub it up that boom. That's right. Remember this. Next time you're stuck in a giant hive in the middle of space. Uh, well that's a portable! It's not a power-up at all! That could have been painful. I mean, the fish seem to be doing relatively fine. Uh, like, they're hopping up, looking for flies, like they're trying to feed themselves. Like, that's probably healthy. All those pantsers just walk into their doom. I mean, they're plants. They're pretty dumb because they're plants. They do not have a nervous system. Everything they do is more or less automated. Like, programmed directly in their DNA. 
I had a fish are doing beautiful choreographed dance moves, but uh Well this looks like it'll be impossible, except they don't seem to be affecting me, so like so I appreciate the fact that they don't affect me, but you can't tell is the issue. But <laughs> like, normally fire does, some don't. That was Gloom Lagoon! Now it's more like Gloom Crater. Uh <laughs> Fish seem happy, so I've learned to fly. Yeah, so we'll call that progress. And here you just get this weird big jump you gotta do. Check out my big jump, I jump big. Now everyone has been converted to change. Welcome to the lagoon. What a weird level. I mean, yeah, like, I that's my main criticism. Sometimes fire hurt, sometimes it don't. Dysfunctional? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Well, you used everything there. Look at that. Location, dysfunctional character should be Mario. Man, almost 50. Yeah, so all gimmick. That that was a big part. I don't get the meaning about environmental dangers of introduced species. You see? A unique circumstance. Uh, the deal with non-flammable pants to bottom from underwater bullet hell. Hmm. How you took the same level format and created. Yeah, like, that was kind of neat. No, like, it's just, it's hard to do well, is the issue. And I just don't know if you did it well. Ah, uh, well, that's fair. No, 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 just someday you'll be able to run. <laughs> wow, like, man, all your points are star points and one sunshine point. Oh, dude. <laughs> See, doing well on your gimmick. Oh, yeah, so you're already a ward man, right? Uh, yeah, I just found the first stage worthy of an award. Would like to share my. Oh, sweet. Just played the one, yeah. Doom Lagoon, haha. <laughs> Gloom Lagoon uh, presents a downright mysterious situation. <laughs> oh, boy, it's a fishiest level. So there won't be levels with more fish going on in the future, huh? Alright, well, uh, I'll take your word for it. No more giant fish zones. Uh, man, it'd be great to finish it. And I don't think that that's gonna stop me. Alright, here we go from Mootsy. Too many rivers too. Lakadu's frosty revenge. Look at that. Triple 30. Everything is going good. I got a floating piece of Gandhi's floating up in a name. Yeah, I remember too many rivers. Lakitu level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had to go down one specific river. <laughs> and there were Lakitu everywhere. As I had some amateur and everyone in return, but one day you received a message from Lakitu. What did that message say? I have transformed Riverland. Oh, no. How do you do that, though? Like, with salt? Like, how much salt did you invest into your weather changing technology? Uh, you stop me, I promise I won't rock it. <laughs> Responding directly to feedback. Alright, is the sky gonna be weird and make you bug out in later version of Smidex? Nope. Alright, well, I mean, as of now, this is... <laughs> of all the levels we played yet in this compilation package, this is by far the most, like... This looks and feel like a normal Mario level, which is commendable in its own way. Oh, there's a pipe here. I'm gonna go in it. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. I popped somewhere. I'm at the bottom of a river. Which river? I don't know. Okay, we're at the start. I got a one-up, yo. And so the second one has a thing you might want to go in. Like, if I read that correctly. Fight or fly is gonna go down in the water and will probably drown and feed a fish some delicious meat. Uh, uh, okay, the water there kept me from walking. Hi, this is where I am. Where is here? I don't know. I think I'm further back in the level. Maybe not. Run! Way! Way! I don't remember how to navigate this place. No, I don't. If you come all the way over here again, how do you expect to stop me? That's the wrong here! Whoa! Uh, 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 uh. Lack of two. I like the song. Hey, it's a dagger done. Gonna go in this pipe, but I can't. This pipe doesn't work, my friend. I think I need to go back at the start and go in the second water van. 
Maybe? Hey there, Mr. Disco. They didn't even collide. How do I feel about this lack of pesticide? It's probably good. Emojis! Don't turn around on me like that, Firefly. I wasn't ready. Yay, death to the disco shell. These guys are having fun in the water. I'm not gonna stop them. And then we got a hopping grumba. All right, we're getting close to where I want to be. Don't surprise me. Don't ambush me. That's a really mean thing to do. All right, this might be where I want to go, actually, or it's the one next to that. Yeah, no, I see. I remember seeing a plant coming out. I can't go on this one. I'm pressing down and nothing to it. All right, so clearly I forgot what pipe it is. So we're gonna go down all the rivers. And look for the one. Okay, so this one has like this path and I remember seeing from above. Oh geez, All right, I'm surprised I managed to pull that off. All right, yeah, give me that mushroom. That's slowly gonna come to me. I'm large. Oh, and they don't go through surfaces in this game, the bloopers. They have to respect the law of solid objects like every other jerk. All right, here we go. Tap in the button. Let's me go in the forward way, and then I'm going to go in the river, and I'm going to go at the end. Like, this is a very bad narration there. Like, what are you saying? That, that blooper is having fun on the ceiling. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to easily fit through. I didn't, is the answer. Here we go, there's a pipe below. Look at this snow underwater, ridiculous. That's what I have to say. Hey, I'm somewhere now. I don't know where. Look at this bay. whoop de doo It's not the exit anymore. Uh-oh, it's kind of if you dare try and stop me, you pu- Pudgy. That's rude. All right, well, I just got the sweet vase here. So here we go. The vase led me somewhere. Welcome to Terrible Trailer Town, sponsored by Lakitu. All right. Um, exciting you. Master Lakitu challenges you to a duel. Oh, man, and here's his bone house. Uh, this place is terrible. Don't, no kidding. Don't have trailers. What? Uh, uh, well, that's, that's very rude and illegal. You should bring him to court, honestly. Uh, and one of the sticks and leftover bones. <laughs> that's just odd. Alright, here's the ice house. That's your trailer. All the milk in my kitchen is frozen solid. Alright, I cannot open this door. Look at that. This is the, this is a level with a lot of text. Uh, yeah, Lakitu and Cole together at last. Uh, a match made in the heck. That's what I have to say. Oh my gosh, it's a mushroom. I will grow large and then I will find this door in barge in. What plum butt? Well, now the dust is going too far. Wait, there's so many of you. Why is that? Oh, uh, P switches and veggies. What are you doing, Lakitu? Okay, you don't. I thought you could, like scroll around. I don't know why. I just kind of make that assumption into my backs, I guess. Whoops. Yeah, you're... Oh. It's not working. You're not affected by the beats. Alright, I'm gonna press a P-switch. Ah-ha! Did it! I did it! I defeat you by running away! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was... It was pretty dumb. <laughs> this was a very classic, I don't know, experience for this game. I love Trailer Park, Slick, Chucks, and Freezer. All right, yeah, entire level was made with my backs. Mm hmm. So, uh, yeah. Hey, I mean, I thought it was silly in just the right way. I, I don't know why it's stuck in my memory. Well, not like in how it was structured, like the general idea. Uh, let me submit. You know, I, yeah, now that you mention it, it's an easier version because you don't have Rocket Lakitu everywhere. Doink. The level seems to lack the general direction. I guess it does not make sense at all as a level if you're not aware of its prequel. <laughs> I mean, I kind of appreciate- I'd rather a fake pipe maze than an actual pipe maze for what it's worth. Worth- worth the worth, uh... Oatmeal physics, that is a pretty good term. Ha 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 
Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that is a good plus. Raises intriguing questions about the nature of identity. Naturally. <laughs> oh, did that change? Like, that's how it was in the first game, was that the top of the screen was just, like, uh, black, and then you, you would graphically glitch through it in it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing. Well, I mean, let's finish the world. Uh, here it is, the last... No, here we go. Meg Dragon. Hey! Now there's a name. Uh, Fiery Permafrost. Uh, 838. Okay, but it's only 1-1. One, one. So look at that. So, like I said, you got images that were... So, it was worth noting, I did not control what images were sent. Um, like I said, they were taken randomly, and then from the images that were randomly taken, I just kind of basically... I uh, looked at the thumbnails to see which ones seemed to have a good amount of varied, like, colors and textures and said that to Sturg and then Sturg had to deal with that. But basically, Meg Dragon had this, and inspired by these images, just about anything like this could inspire something to make the boss. Concerning it's like Fiery Permafrost, I'm going to assume that Fiery Permafrost, I took like the ice texture and the fire from Fireman, I guess we're gonna find out. Here we go, in a world. I missed a thing. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wow! Oh, man. See, like, you, you, you could tell by my complete stunned silence that I was ready to be shot. But I think it's nice that, like, the real last place that actually did what you were supposed... So, I was holding start there. Alright. See, I hold start there to see, uh, to see the thing, but I saw it for like a second and then it moved on. I'm gonna try again. I'm just gonna tap start. Maybe I'm we're gonna be able to look at the screen. Someone can freeze frame the frame where it happens, I guess. So this happens. We're on this screen. We got the permafrost and the fire. But then here I press start and this is what happens. I don't know. The thing to see the okay, so I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna press a button as I fall Because I think that makes it work. I Just keep re-entering. I just love the show that's been displayed here. You can't stop me Yeah, like you see it and then it goes away immediately All right. Well now we can That's whoa sound effects. I did not expect to be hearing. I guess I might have manipulated the menu Man, I can't even look at a mini. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Meg Dragon. We tried. Uh... Come on, Dave. <laughs> so yeah, he saw the fire, saw the ice, and saw the health, huh? So I used to go from the RPG battle to longer than the week I had. I just made a boom boom on fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I mean, this is a clear case of the old hubris, right? You were going for something huge. Unfortunately, it left you with a bucket of mud. Oh man. It makes the fire and water is a thing of smoke and vapor. Wow, so well said. Trying to <laughs> What's the health aspect though? Where did you see health? I guess there's a health bar. There's the power meter there in the Mario. Yeah, okay, there's a health bar in Mega Man and for Claire over there. Got it. But isn't that the end of the world? 
Well, prepare your buttocks, dear visitor, for there is no end to the A slide! <laughs> yeah, okay, and it loops around. Got it! Oh, man! I'm just gonna slide through the whole universe, and there's nothing you can do about it! A slide will never die! <laughs> All right. So yeah, next time we're gonna be spending some time at the old uh, hub. Like yeah, like I've cleared the threshold. Whoa, are they like respawning? That's very rude, houses. Uh, yeah. So next time we're um we're gonna visit the hub because there's gonna be doors opened up. If anyone wants to remind me which one to haste the thing, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. And then afterward, we'll probably have time to check into World Two. We did it! Progress is happening! Oh, see, now the huts are dead. No, they keep coming back. 